This week, Garen and Ellie test to find the perfect stucco mixture for the earth bag cabin. Bryson builds a solids filter for the aquaponics system, and Ben finishes refurbishing the school lockers. We have been doing a lot of testing to make sure that our stucco mixture is gonna work the best. So. We decided we needed to do another test on our mixture for our stucco. Looks like most of the stucco did fall off. Yeah. Not all of it though. I think a lot of it was due to it freezing. This stuff is like probably in the worst shape. I don't know if you can see all the cracks and stuff. We called in the cavalry. <laughs> this is my brother and his wife, Caleb and Ashley. And we are just pulling all the stucco off the walls. That wasn't good. Hi. Watch out. Oh, you got boy diesel. Easiest brush in the world. They can stand Whoa. up and use it. <laughs> getting all clean, diesel? Huh? Huh? You getting all clean? You want some too, Petra? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not so sure. We need to make sure that our mixture is right. We're doing these three test spots here, varying mixtures to see which one's going to work out the best. We go like cheapest. The most expensive. The cheapest being we're adding a lot more clay. Problems with it is that it makes it super porous. It doesn't harden all the way. These are a heavy dirt clay mixture. Sure, these are kind of out of the question. You can see the the cracking, and they they have a they don't stick to the wall as good. You know, they they do things like that sometimes, and like it's still like it, it doesn't like. You see that? We add more sand, less dirt, and then we kind of go up again. And you can see it just, it's getting better as it goes along, less cracking. It sticks a little better to the walls. This is just sand and cement. And you can see that this one is just. This this one was the ratio that if you were to buy stucco, it would be a three to one ratio. But it's expensive and it's it's gonna be unnecessary for this. I think in all honesty, we're gonna be going this with this one. one. It's a three sand, one cement, and half of dirt. This one's fun to put on. It's fairly sticky. It's a little bit drier than the other stuff, but it's not bad. And you can see when you it has good texture, if we were to break it off, if we even can, like look at this. I mean like, that's what we need, is we need it to stick to the wall. So it can't be peeling off. It needs to be stuck to the wall at the cheapest price point possible. Sand and cement we have to buy. That's our sweet spot. That's our sweet yeah. spot. All right, day one of stucco is finished. there. Hey, you know what I've been thinking? About last week's mousetrap? Oh, yeah? I really think that we should put water at the bottom of that five gallon bucket. Yeah, that's a great idea. Then they won't jump out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, oh, that's a good idea. Did you think of that? Oh, yes, I did. It kept me up all night. Hmm, it's a cool idea. I did some research on the aquaponics system, found out that I should probably put a solids filter on the back of the aquaponics system to filter out any solids that might fall to the bottom of the tank. We have our two main reservoir tanks for our fish. This is gonna be a tank that's gonna set right in the back of it. All it's gonna do is suck water from the main tanks into the top of the barrel. The top of the barrel is gonna have a five gallon bucket to disperse the water a little bit better in the tank to allow the water to settle. And at the top of the tank, there's gonna be an exit which will go out to water the plants. And at the very bottom, we're gonna add an exit just to clean it out as kind of a backfill filter so that we can turn it on and wash out the filter and turn it off. Well, people online were using barrels like this. The first thing I need to do is find some sort of container to hold my water. So I was wandering around, I found some old leftover water tanks from our rainwater system. So I'm gonna use one of those. I like the color of that one. You gotta keep a little black widow scene right there. Ooh, that's a good one. Good. Wow, look at the red on them. Yeah, you can really see. If they can harm us, they go. If they don't harm us, yeah. Saved us. I know, we could have died. There's other spiders in here too that are more friendly. We'll leave those guys to live. Yeah. 
I got all four of the doors welded together today. Now we're moving on to grinding down the weld, making sure that they're smooth and there's no gaps in there. Look at this thing is so smooth. It was like that, right? Yeah. That's what it's like before I grind them down. And then this is the after the fact. Oh yeah. Very impressed with that. It's very cool. They are ready to be painted. an empty pipe over here, which will empty it to clean out the backfill. You set that up on bricks. So I was doing some research and it turns out that if you just have tanks plus your gravel system for your plants, then what would happen over time is your pump would suck up solids from the bottom of the tank. That would be anything like manure from the fish or rocks and things that might fall in there. Your gravel bins will slowly start to build up a bunch of sludge in the bottom of the gravel pins and it's just not good. Over a long period of time it can be a problem. But the idea is to try to filter out all the solids before it gets filtered out in our, <laughs> in our plant area. Hi there, Luna. Luna. Luna, hi there. This is the piping that we're going to use to go down there to grab the, uh, the nutrient water, is how they call it. Would I water plants with that then? Yeah, it's ready fertilizer. It's not hot, like. Oh. Okay. Pour right on the plant, the plant will use it. So this is where I'm going to build a foundation. This is where the barrel is going to go. So, how does that look? Looks good. It looks wedged in there just right. I'll be just like that. It's an instrument. So this can go on the end of here, obviously cut off, but it'll go on the end of here like this. And the gut flows out of the bucket, and then you shut it off, and that's our filter clean. I can actually turn that in a small bit of an angle, like that if you want. Sure, so then you can walk. Get in here, and get in that's here if we good. have to. We're gonna put this piece in, it has holes in the bottom. It's to help drain it all evenly in the bottom when we need to get the solids out. That actually will work. You can get some pretty low voices in here, it's kind of fun. That's really far off the bottom, but I'm planning to get like a foot of solids in there before we have to empty it, so. They're the perfect length. All right, so my eye holes are done. I can now see two cameras. Why do I see two cameras? This is all you had to see through. You could really focus hard on a lot of stuff. Had to redo one of the doors, but I am ready to paint these guys. All right. You want to use the paint booth? I would love to use the paint Let's booth. Let's pull things out and actually take them over. Yeah. Um, do you have the artwork in here? Oh, well, that's beautiful. That's a, that's a shit thing. We could frame it and call it modern art. You could probably do uh, the top, the bottom, and the middle without getting tape to section them off. That makes sense. Well, I lined them up in the painter's booth and Shay and I are looking at them and they kind of look good mix match and out of order. I'm kind of wondering whether to leave them mix match like this. I like it. I think that would be a lot of fun to have them just kind of patchwork looking, you know? Wonkity wonkity. That's what my mom always said. Hi mom. I just kind of want to see what all the colors look like. Mm -hmm. That is a nice color. Pooper, stooper, snooper, you gonna fit there? Okay, and that pipe's gonna go out like that, and then up, and it's gonna go into the tub. There. Okay. One will go in here, one will go in here. Okay. Any doo doo that goes to the bottom uh -huh. from the fish. Or not just doo doo, it could be anything. Could be anything that sinks to the bottom. Anything that sinks to the bottom, well, this will suck up. It will then take it to the solids filter, okay. which will then allow it to settle. Okay. So all the solids should fall to the bottom. Uh -huh. okay. The idea is to keep our system clean of any solids that might get in there. Because if any solids get in our piping, it's going to clog our piping up. No, we don't want that. A tank like this yeah. will allow us to go years and years and years and always be able to just clean it out right there and not have to worry about all the rest. Well, it's got a few more corners to put on there. Once the corners are done, 
will be doing great. And then a five gallon bucket still has yet to go in there. Perfect. So this piece is actually a really important piece to making this whole, whole filter function. It goes down like this and it sits around these pipes like that. And what that does is when the water falls in this pipe, it's forced to go down and kind of settle before it comes back up and out the pipe again. We have ordered a pump and then when we get that pump, we'll get it installed on here. All right. Oh, oh. Okay, so I have a question. You've done every, done every other one, and okay. then we'll only have to tape off for these middle ones. I love this red, reddish color. I love the color palette. Very good. This side, but like the back side is painted. Boys, y'all, uh... Oh no! She that. stepped in my art. It's oh. masterpiece. Oh, Brie. Are those your good pants? Yes, Bryson. Can't you tell that they're my really good pants? <laughs> I didn't even know what that was. It's so it was a it was a cup of paint that the paint thinner uh, melted through and and pooled. And then I thought, well, geez, what do I do? I'm gonna make a booby trap for me. <laughs> Good job, bros. Gotta get paint off myself now. Or you could just embrace the look. I've had top bar beehives, but I have never had a Langstroth beehive. This is all the pieces to build one. Got this hive so that I could put a flow hive in it. I don't know about how they will work. The only way I'm ever gonna find out is to buy them and actually test them. This is the bottom board of the beehive. The box. Oh. These are a lot of pieces. So I also kind of wanted a flank strap hive for a long time, so. I am putting the hive together with wood glue, sweat, and tears. It's not that hard to put together. It's pretty much idiot proof. <laughs> This is the whole reason why I got a Langstroth hive. These are flow frames. I have heard a lot about them. That they're bad, that they're good. We're going to test them and put all those myths and theories to bed. Because if this actually works, probably one of the world's best inventions, if it works. Oh, baby. I have to watch so many videos on this, it's not even funny. What these do, they're really fascinating. You turn it, and then, I don't know if you can see these, but these move separately, those inside there. And they actually open up and all the honey flows down the center of the flow frame. And because they're all slanted inwards like this, the honey will literally flow down the center and flows out. I don't think I will be able to test them until next year because I don't think the hive will be developed enough to be able to accept one of these frames. It could be an incredible invention. And I don't see any reason why it can't work, but I don't know. There's these guys. The guy looks like Mr. Clean, like he's got, he's all bald. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he goes in with power washer, I think it's a power washer, and he like just, just, just obliterates um, graffiti. Erasing the bad memories. I think it's called erase the hate, is exactly what it's called. I think so I drop okay, bye! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Good luck with your- Good luck on your with adventures. Your, with your gymster paid. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to say escapade, but then, Locks a page, gym Our neighbor Mark, I told him about our aquaponics system. And he's like, you know, I actually have something that might work kind of good for that. So I have 150 of these, and I was just thinking they might work. Because if you want them, they're right here. You can just take them. And I think that this might work really well. Let's go see. Like if it's setting in the pipe like that, water can get around it. We might want to put a few more holes in here. I think those might just work. So we'll put rock in here, our growing medium of some kind. Be right in there, in there. And what's cool about that is that's a hole saw size oh, bit. Right. So you go zip, 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 and just drop them in. Anyway, wow. kind of cool. Yeah. Plan is to use these T posts as posts to hold up our piping. We're gonna do one every five feet. 
So that's basically our height. Okay, I got all of the posts in. Now it's time to put the bracers in the center here to hold up the pipes. So I'm gonna go down it. They're just so cheery, I love it. Awesome. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Very so cute. Yeah. I like that you, you did minis. It's a big sock drawer. Yeah. A sock for each one. <laughs> that opens up all as one. That's like one big whoosh. It is a whoosh. I love the color palette. I think I it's wanted... nice on the eyes. It could fit in a room and not be too, it'd be a creative piece, but not like, and not like you know. Assault you? Assault you. Yeah, it's a cool. problem that I foresee. Hmm. How mean? is this gonna fit in my room? <laughs> <laughs> bad. Maybe. Do we need something solid or could we use a cable or a rope? We got cable and we've got barbed wire. Who's oh, making that noise? Yeah. We've got a wild cat around. Hi Keo, what's up? Oh, it's Keo? Hi! Keo, what are you doing? Ooh. What are you doing, kiddo? Oh, the dog? Hi. Yeah. He's kind of irritating, isn't he, baby? Hi. Will those work? Oh my gosh. Those already have holes on them. That's a little long, I think. We could try taking this, like drilling a hole through here, and then drill like a partial hole here. Oh yeah, now that's it. It's easy peasy. Me on. Yeah, that's just perfect. Then he can raise this and lower it based on where he wants it and tie it and stuff. That's perfect. We're almost done. We've got a few things to do. I'm gonna kind of bend some of these like that. And that will be kind of that way. Get ducky. We looking nice, yeah? Something like that. Cause right in here is where I was planning to put the corner. Pretty much level. They can all go down. I think Gary and Ellie have done a really good job on the stucco slash cob. I think it's yeah. kind of stucco at this point. Yeah, I'd probably progress more to that as time went on. But yeah, they're doing a great job. Pretty excited about how things are really turning out for them. Yeah, it's fun to see those those walls go up. It's starting to look more like a home as that stucco is attaching to the wall and we're watching it kind of grow. And you know, it's funny. It, I know it was difficult for them. You and I tried to help with the combination of what mixture they should use for the outside of the building. And you know, from one climate to the next, it's so different that what worked here for us, we took that same knowledge up there and then found that that just did not work. Different place. A lot of folks will comment saying, Gary, will this work? In my area and I go well it works in mine <laughs> you know I don't always have an answer so you kind of have to test that stuff out and I remember the times when it was kind of falling off how we felt like oh man like you know it should work and it didn't so it took a lot of experimentation a lot of you know persevering and getting through it and no that doesn't work okay let's try this and asking around getting some suggestions and help from other people mm -hmm. yeah they persevered through it and they're just diving in they're such hard workers too okay. when they set their mind to it they just power in through it and I know the, the camera is sometimes frustrating for them because they just want to work they don't yeah. want to deal with the camera and, well there's only know. two of them and yeah. like there's you know five or six of us around here so somebody's usually available for camera around here it's just there that have to either set up the tripod or one films the other yeah the way it's all coming together now i, I know it's, it's still going to have paint on the outside of it but the building is just looking really cute and homey and yeah. Like, yeah i guess that's what cabins are about is something fun cozy yeah. cozy up the fire up 
this week. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. The design this week was created by Shay. It's this little couple pigs in a teacup, which may or may not be a reference to Yui being a teacup pig. If you'd like to pick this up on a t-shirt, tank top, apron, all kinds of crazy fun merchandise, if you'd like to pick this design up or any of our designs that we've done in the past, you can do so by checking out the link in the description. We really appreciate you hanging out with us and being a part of our family. We'll see you next Friday. Bye. Funny, I got three end caps because I was thinking like this to this to this. I can just go in. Oops, it's okay. It's not a big deal. It's, it's just fine. Don't worry about it. You gonna yeah. be like the dog? <laughs> yeah. I need the focus face for the B roll. <laughs> family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Mm -hmm. Did you think of that? Yes, I did. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, there's a wasp nest right above where I'm working. I didn't realize till today. Beautiful. Ba, boom, ba, boom, do, do. How you doing? <laughs>